hello everyone welcome to my channel so if you haven't subscribed my channel so far please go and click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you can get more videos about comsol simulation so in today's video we are, we are going to solve the droplet generation in a t-junction microfluidics channel so i already solved the problem uh, so if we go on the components so here you can see here on the geometry I basically selected four rectangles with different dimensions as you can see here and finally I built the geometry and you can see this is basically a t-junction microfluidic channel so in the next step of materials if we go we, uh, we have selected two fluids uh, because we want to generate a droplet so we need two different fluids uh, one is with continuous fluid one is called continuous and the second one is the dispersed fluid so you can see here the properties we have assigned the density and the dynamic viscosity for both of the fluids and we have selected two different physics the first one is laminar flow so in the laminar flow you can see here so we have assigned uh, uh, the different pro fluid properties as you can see here and if you go to the walls you can see there we have applied a no slip boundary condition and if you go and click on the inlet condition so you can see here we have selected this one as the first inlet and this one is the second inlet for the first inlet we have given the velocity 0 0.012 meter per second and for the second inlet we have given 1.5 e raised to power minus 3 meter per second and this is basically the outlet where the fluid is coming out so the second physics we have selected is the level set physics as you can see here so for the level set uh, uh, mode 1 we have given the values of reinitialization parameter 0 0.1 meter per second and at the parameter of controlling interface thickness is 10 e raised to power minus 6 and then uh, these are basically the initial values for we have selected the fluid 1 and uh, uh, this is the no flow condition and then we have applied uh, the initial value 2 the initial value 1 is uh, for uh, for this fluid 1 and the initial value 2 is for fluid 2 and then we selected the, again the inlet 1 for the fluid 1 and then for inlet number 2 for the fluid number 2 and then finally we selected the outlet condition and uh, as we are going to solve uh, a multi-physics problem so we have to select the uh, multi-physics uh, here so we have selected two phase flow level set 1 so you can see here the settings so we have two different physics we are going to combine the fluid flow and the uh, moving interface which is level set one and uh, as you can see here the settings like for the fluid one we are assigning the material properties uh, continuous fluid one and we have given the values from the material we already assigned the properties in the material and you can see here the dynamic viscosity and uh, and density are given for the fluid one and similarly for the fluid two we already defined in the material so we are just selecting from selecting from material so you can also put the user defined values uh, in your problem and we have selected uh, we have given the surface tension coefficient 5 e raised to power minus 3 newton per meter here so the second condition we selected the wetted wall so you can see here again we are um, solving it for two different physics fluid flow and level set one physics and you can see here we have given the properties of uh, wall we have given the properties of wetted wall which is wall condition navy slip uh, we have different options here so you need to select the navy slip and for the slip length uh, these are the values you need to provide uh, in order to solve the problem and uh, the next step in the next step we uh, selected the physics control mesh and we selected the fine meshing and uh, this is what you can see on the right side the mesh generated uh, for this for this problem and we have selected in the study in the study step we have selected two options uh, phase initialization study step one and the second one is time dependent the phase initialization is to see that how uh, our droplet is being generated and the time dependent study basically shows you that how the fluid will flow in in in, in, in the channel so in the initialization study you need to only select the level set one and for the time dependent study you need to select both uh, physics uh, so these are the value these are the uh, settings you have to consider and finally if we uh, come to the results so you can see here uh, 
these are basically velocity profiles we have so if we go to the initial point you can see here these are the velocity profiles and these are the pressure profiles we have for, for the problem and uh, finally if we go to to the animation plot so you can clearly see uh, see that we already made this animation so you can see here clearly that the droplet is being generated so uh, these are all the steps you need to follow uh, to do the simulation of droplet generation and T-junction microfluidic channel. Thank you so much for watching the video. 